I'm Tracy Whaling from See, Hear, Feel Art, and it's good to see you again. Yes, you. I'm glad you're back, because I wanted to share something that's quite special to me in the run-up to Christmas. I wanted to share how I dealt with the first year that my youngest had cottoned on about Santa and how we kept that magic alive, regardless I think it might help you or others or someone you know who needs help at the same time. Now that year, when my youngest figured it out, I taught them a lesson that was one of those everything happens for a reason and when the time is right things. It was Christmas Eve and I'd popped to the shop around the corner and as I entered the shop, I walked in on a guy who'd been grabbed by the security guards for stealing. He was begging them to let him go and under his arm was a chicken which was clearly meant for Christmas dinner. I knew the guy, not personally, but he lived close by. He was a bit of a, well, yes, and had a long-suffering wife and a three-year-old little girl. The thought of them going without the one day, you know, that one day they were trying to make special, it just broke my heart, you know, I just couldn't even imagine being in in the situation that they were just about to be in. I went home and I was thinking all the way back and I just knew when I got back I said to the kids, you know, I asked, um, I want you to do something, just go and find any toys that are in good condition, toys that you don't want anymore. Why? asked the youngest. Because I want to show you something very special. Just make sure they're the toys that you really don't want anymore. They ran off to their bedroom and started collecting up the toys. And as they did that, I was going through the kitchen cupboards and just looking for anything that I could add to this box, you know, including some of our own Christmas treats. And I wrote a note to add to the box and I didn't let the girls see it. It was important at this point that they still didn't know what, what this was about. The kids were excited and had absolutely no clue what was going on, but the curiosity in their eyes and this wonderment and you could see the little cogs turning in their minds, like trying to figure out what was going on. <laughs> it was so sweet on its own. And um, so when the box had been made up, I then told them we had to be like Scooby-Doo and sneak quietly with the box. They still had no clue, but they were laughing and enjoying this game as we left the house and walked down the road. And the whole time it was like, shh. <laughs> As we approached that guy's house, luckily there was some giant stone plant pots in the communal area. And I told my kids to be super quiet and hide behind them. And though they were desperately trying not to giggle when I tiptoed in an exaggerated shaggy style out of the family's front door, I put the box on the doorstep knocked on the door loudly and legged it to hide behind the plant pots with my kids. And the guy came to the door. I didn't even think at that point that he probably thought it was the police or something. I'm terrible now. <laughs> but of course it wasn't. He looked down at the box. And then he looked left. And then he looked right. And then he went back in and shut the door. <laughs> the door opened again, and this time his wife and little girl were with him. He leant down, he picked up the note, and he read it, which was inaudible from where we were. But it simply said, Happy Christmas, love from Santa. The mom, <laughs> she just looked at the guy, he just looked at her. And the little girl was just jumping up and down and clapping. And she was so excited, bless her. <laughs> and the mum ushered the little girl back inside. And uh, 
And the guy just, again, he looked at the box. He looked left. <laughs> he looked right. And he picked it up quickly and <laughs> dashed inside. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that he believed that box was left on the wrong doorstep. <laughs> but that just made it even funnier for me. <laughs> <laughs> my kids of course they loved the little girl's reaction and I asked well, what did we do that for and I said because I wanted to show you that Santa does exist Santa is everywhere and tonight you two were Santa for that little girl I will never forget the smiles and the magic in their eyes as they realized oh, what they'd just done and the questions kept coming oh, why did we hide why didn't we just go and give it to them so they knew it was us because it's not about the recognition they don't know where it came from and so that is like magic to them the magic is the best bit so we'll never tell them where it came from, okay? Shh, we'll never tell them. All you need to know is that this is a day they will always remember and wonder about. It was the moment the kids have never forgotten either. It helped to keep the magic alive for them at Christmas and in a way that they understood and really stuck with them to this day. This day being 20 years later, and that family still don't know where the toys and food came from. That day really was about showing my girls that magic is everywhere. That day, I mean, it was just meant to be, you know. I, I, I trust my instincts. It's amazing, actually, when I think about it, that the guy even opened the door, that the guy came to the door with the little girls and that my kids could see her face. You know, it was all quite incredible when you think about it. But it was also very much about keeping that magic alive and showing my girl, my you know, showing my own girls that that magic is everywhere and how they could bring it to someone else and how they could bring it to that little girl for a while. Santa really does exist. I guess it's left for me now to just thank you for coming and listening and I hope you enjoyed this little memory of ours and I just want to wish you a very happy Christmas and a wonderful and inspiring, very happy new year. Sweet dreams. <laughs>